Good morning. Good morning, Father. I work from the tradition of charismatic celebration where we remind ourselves of our intentions, asking God for his love and for us in our lives. In a special way, also, we pray for the intentions of Galatia and Marcella Ibarra. Paul Nguyen, Peter Lang Nguyen, John Nguyen, Han Nguyen, Cameron Tuoto, Miguel and Jacqueline, and the families of Sarah and Alfonso and Grimley. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, to be worthy to celebrate this Eucharist, let us call to mind our sins, asking God for his grace and mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us life to the last day. Amen. Let us pray. May your grace, O Lord, be free at all times, go before us and pull after, and make us always determined to carry our good works. We ask this for our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, I am speaking in human terms because of the weakness of your nature. For just as you presented the parts, the parts of your body as slaves to impurity and to lawlessness for lawlessness, so now present them as slaves to righteousness for this for sanctity no I'm sorry for sanctification for when you were slaves of sin you were free from the righteousness but what what profit did you get from them for the things of which you are now ashamed for the end of those things is death but now that you have been freed from sin and have become slaves of God, the benefits that you have leads to sanctification and it ends in eternal life. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is, is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. The word of the Lord. Be to God. <clears throat> Blessed are they who hope in in the Lord. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Blessed the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the ways of sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent, but delights in the law of the Lord, and meditates on his law day and night. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. He is like a tree planted near running water that yields its fruit in due season and whose leaves never fade. Whatever he does prospers. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Not so the wicked, not so. They are like chaff which the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the ways of the just, but the ways of the wicked vanish. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. I consider all things so much rubbish that I may gain Christ and be found in him. Alleluia, alleluia. The 
the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. Glory to you, o Lord. <clears throat> Jesus said to his disciples, I have come to set the earth on fire, and how I wish it were already blessed. There is a baptism with which I must be baptized, and how great is my anguish until it is accomplished. Do you think I have come to establish peace on earth? No, I tell you, but rather the vision. From now on, a household of five will be divided, three against two, and two against three. A father will be divided against his son, and a son against his father, a mother against her daughter, and the daughter against her mother. The mother-in-law against her daughter-in-law, and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please receive. <laughs> Blessed are those who hope in the Lord. Blessed are those who hope in the Lord. The man who follows not the counsel of the wicked. I pick the responsorial psalm because I don't want to go into the little critique of the gospel. But we know that the gospel, uh, 2000 years ago, Jesus saw the vision of a new order that will break up the Jewish tradition like the people of Torah, people who, who feel very special, very united because of the law, because of the group. And Jesus knew that when time will come and people will begin to counter the religious tradition of that time, and if you read the tradition of the Jewish people from the early to 20 in the after the death of Christ, the early hundreds, it was the vision, the people of the way, that is the people who want to follow the work of Jesus Christ, the people who want to follow the real Jewish tradition. So the division was there, parents, fathers, mothers, wife, everybody fighting. If you say you are not following the tradition of the Jewish people, they will kill you like Stephen, they will chase you away like Saul. So. so the division is but why I pick the responsorial psalm, blessed are those who hope in the Lord, is because of the situation we find ourselves in the present time. And he said, he who listens not to the counsel of the wicked. Now we have this big debate Republican, Democrats. It is not about the truth, it is about Republican, Democrats. It is not about the truth, it is about vaccinated, not vaccinated. It is not about the truth, it is about white or black. It is not about the truth, it is about your religious affiliation, Christian, Muslim. So, uh, Jesus said, Blessed are those who hope in the law, not the counsel of the wicked, because the person who is counseling you my dear Democrat, and it is not the view of reality or truth or law. It is the view of the Democratic Party so that you will win you over. And the Republicans will be evil, bad, stupid. So, you listen to this Sunday start, trying to explain to you and myself, it is not the view of the male or female gender, white or black people, republican or democrat or independent or libertarian. It is the view of the Lord, the truth of Christ, the gospel message. And that is our hope. That is where we place our trust. 
And if you don't place your trust on God, definitely you will have problem with every other person. Because if you believe in the truth of the Republican Party, it will change tomorrow. Tomorrow they will see another thing and thank God there is television, radio, newspaper, recorded event. Their view 50 years ago is not their view today. Likewise, the Democrats. But what remains is the truth of Christ. We all are human beings. Even in the time they say slavery is real, slavery is official. After many years, nobody says that. Because what is bad is bad. So I say to you, I say to myself, who are you listening to? Who is your counsel? Where do you place your hope? Maybe in your wealth, in your good pancake, in your good shirt, in your wonderful shoe, these things will fall apart. The reality will always emerge. The truth will set you free. Our hope will be on God, who is the truth, who is life, and who is the way. Please. As we continue to pray for the family of Serena Grimley and Carlton, Glacio and Marcella Ibarra, Peter Wynn, Paul Wynn, Anne Wynn, John Wynn, Cameron Theodore Eden and Jacqueline, and all those who requested our prayers, we ask Almighty God, in His mercy and love, not to judge us on our wickedness, on our failure, but may His mercy always protect us, may we always rejoice in His forgiveness, and may we be free in His love, to share this love with one another, not minding the political affiliation, religious belief, gender orientation and life itself. We will always share the law so that we will be happy with one another and find peace in Christ. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for the happiness you have received the bread we offer you fruit of the earth and the walk of my hands to become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for the happiness we have received the wine we offer you fruit of the hand, and the work of two and one is to become for us the spiritual thing. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the glory of all His church. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings, so that through this act of devotedness we may pass over to the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just and rich in our salvation. Mm -hmm. And then we will give you thanks, Lord. Most Holy Father, through your beloved Son, Lord Jesus Christ, your word to whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and doing for you the Holy People, who search out his sons as a God, his passion, so as to bring the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, 
with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one God as we have led. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed truly the Lord, the crown of all believers. Make holy therefore this district by sending down your spirit upon them like the before, so that they may become for us the glory and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered for the rest of his passion, and he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this to my fear, Peter, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when Tabah was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this to my fear and bring from me, for this is the chalice of my God, the blood of the Lord, the Hena Kodim, which will be poured out for you the rain, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of the Savior of the world, provide your cross and resurrection, and you have set us free. Therefore, as we <laughs> celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we call for you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us toward it, to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, you may gather into one mighty Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring us to the fullness of charity, together with Christ the Sacred, as a bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all we pray. Now we bless the Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Joseph, as far as we the blessed apostles, and all the saints who are pleased with all the age. We may marry to the glorious death in our life, and may praise and glorify the dear Son of Jesus Christ. Through the room with him, my name is the Lord God, and Almighty Father, and the unity of the Holy Spirit, all the way upon all the streets, forever and ever. Amen. I can say yes to my name, but I'm to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. We wish us to grant peace in our day, that we live out of your mercy. May we always free from sin and save from all these works, as we await the blessed book and the crown of our Savior Jesus Christ. We are redeemed in the power and the glory of our works, not in forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace and leave him and peace and keep you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and give it in accordance with your word to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you. Let us offer to each other and the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Because the Lamb of God, because the who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those who are called to the Sabbath of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy of the sins of the Lord, but only say the word in my soul shall be healed. Please be seated.
I have the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life, like us. Renewed by this bread from the heavenly table, we beseech you, Lord, that be the food of charity, it may confirm our hearts and strengthen us to serve you in our neighbor, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord is with you. And with your spirit. Our life God continue to bless your Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This past is and let us go in peace to love, sir. Thanks be to God. Thank you, Father.